What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Televisions. Today, man, we're going to be shooting with the only justice. So we got the blue already right here with the curtains. It's going to be fire. We're going to go for this nice, dreamy, smooth look. Check out the mood boy right here. I really like the photo with her in the mirror. I think that's a real different and unique style. I really like the vibe of the photos that are coming from the right with the light coming from behind and flashing past her skin. Nice gives like this sort of breath taken but like awakening feel i really like the photo with the blue jean jacket that's something that i definitely wanted to emulate and then the photo all the way to the left i just like the collage vibe i wish i kind of explored more into it but we only had about 30 minutes to shoot so i couldn't really achieve that as best as i wanted to if you ever want to look for some move boys man i tell you man what i use personally man is pinterest it's dope for when i did photography inspo cinematography inspo and so forth man once i'm gonna be focusing on this beauty dish that's gonna be our main light then we're gonna have a hair light in the back to really define the back of her hair and her head just to really get a nice shake behind her so without further ado man before you get to this man like this video let's get right to it like i said man we'll be shooting justice we got some portrait 800 right now gonna load this joint up in the yashika a this is a 1960s japanese film camera flat reflex lens and it is a waist level viewfinder today though i won't be uh using a tripod i'll just be balancing it myself this will be up 800 iso so we're gonna make sure we get some digital first before we get this thing cracking because nigga this shit costs money so without further ado man let's get into it put it in one of these slots it's like a whole Really right here. That's what you want to put it in this slit right here. So get that one and then make sure it's in there tight. Get that clamp and you start to roll. Typically I roll until it tells me what to do, right? Then we got an arrow. Smooth. Usually I like to stop it right here. Close. Make sure it's locked. And now I'm just scrolling until I see the number one. Kodak, boom, there's number one. Fire, boom. So, so before we even get into shooting the film, right, we wanna definitely take precautious measures and start off with shooting digital. I advise everybody doing this because film is not cheap. It's not, like I said, so definitely wanna take consideration and taking some digitals. I really liked how these came out. So right now we are adjusting our beauty dish. We're going for like that feel I was telling you about with the light coming from behind her head. I got the beauty dish as our main light. Then I have a light behind her head that is modified with a small clamshell, which is pretty smooth. It's gonna not soften up anything. It's just gonna blow right behind her. So right here, I was shooting with the Yashika A. I wasn't using a tripod. I was doing everything handheld which wasn't too bad because my shutter speed was around 125, just a little under 200. And it still worked out pretty smooth. I know when I do want to take these film photos handheld, I like to take deep breaths and really just be patient and let the model know um, it's gonna take some patience to really get these shots because we wanna make sure they're clear, they're in focus and they're not blurry. What's going on, man? You already know the freaking vibes, man. We are back with another one. Y'all see the heat that we are producing. I got my homie, my sister, Justice, in the motherfucking building. Hey. Tell them your social, man. Where they Follow me on Instagram, guys. My Instagram is Juju Bricks. Makeup page is JMRMUA. And same thing for Twitter. <laughs> I know. Make sure it's too. She got some YouTube content coming out soon, so y'all make sure y'all check that out, man. And y'all know the vibe. Y'all know it. Peace. See y'all. What's going on, y'all? So we are done with the shoot, so I wanna definitely get y'all in on some of my favorite photos and what I plan on posting, of course. So this first photo is one of my favorites. It gives like this sort of peaceful vibe. It definitely still brings out that nice saturation. It gives still like a dreamy look. When I had actually got these developed, I got them developed at this new film store called Bello Film Lab. And I got it scanned specifically through this Fuji scanner. And basically it kind of makes it a little bit more saturated and contrasted. But that was kind of what I was looking for. So I can, you know, get those darker shadows and 
kind of bring out that skin a little bit more. I figured it would be from the film, so I was gonna saturate it a little anyway. So it came out pretty dope. I really like this look. It really gives me like a like an R&B cover vibe. I like her hand placement on it as well. She was very easy when it came to directing her. It wasn't really much I was saying too much. It was kind of like she was fun with everything, which is pretty smooth. I like the second one because it was like the denim vibe with the white top under. I wanted it to definitely complement the curtains behind her. On the move board, I got this specific photo with this girl wearing a blue jean jacket, but I feel like it'll be more dynamic with instead of having like a plain background, making it like curtains and even still evoking that dreamy feel that's in the mood board. I just want to get like just less centered off her face. So I want her to turn her chin a little bit more so we can get a little bit, a little bit more dynamic look at her face. Just getting different angles for sure. Then the last one was something I wish I actually achieved a little bit better. Um, because the whole thing about this shot was I have a light behind her head. And what I wanted to do is uh, pop that, but also to um, let it expose all the highlights and give like a cool like sun look in the back. You can tell by on this photo on the mood board, it's kind of like the vibe I was going for. I wanted that light to kind of blast and you can see it coming from behind her. But I still like how the photo came out. The photo came out pretty smooth, but I know still that's something that I would like to achieve in the future. But like I said, it came out pretty smooth, so I'm I'm pretty satisfied with what I got. So without further ado, man, I appreciate y'all for even tuning in to this episode of Televisions. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you love these videos, please drop it in the comment section. Let me know other videos you'd like me to do. Without further ado, man, peace.